There are a couple of mistakes, um, but the, one of the key ones is they underestimate the operating costs of running a property. They often underestimate the cost of utilities and what that does um, within the context of property ownership. The other thing they do is they overestimate the income um, projections associated with property and they have a too optimistic view of what the underlying property is worth. Um, uh, and then first time owners are often romantic about property, so they equate the value to the bricks and mortar of, of a property, the physical structure, whereas the value is what a willing buyer would be willing to transact on. Now, property is quite unique in that most relationships that are tied to a property are transferred to the new owner. So one has to be very careful in understanding the status of the property in terms of existing leases, in terms of notorial deeds um, that are tied to the property. The important point that, that I, I really wanted to pick up is just how sensitive the law is in terms of illegal occupation of property. For instance, um, if anyone occupies a property, you've got 24 hours to actually evict or remove them before they, before they get right to be on that property. As a property owner, you need to understand that you are liable for certain expenses on the property, rates, taxes. And as a new property owner, you need to understand what the historic position is with regards to those because you may be liable um, for those. What's also happening in the municipal space is there's an increasing focus on compliance um, with respect to occupancy. So we're talking about um, fire, um, water and electrical utilities and reticulation and on older properties that could be a substantial cost. Mm -hmm.